it's neat about this piece. There are so many ways to play it better, 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 better. So you can play it here and be just fine, but then you just keep, keep hearing people do different things with it and go like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize there were all those levels above there. So uh, let me start at the beginning for you. W would you play the beginning as you did measure 24? You came in real timid at the beginning. And I, I wanted to sound like those are 24. Can you go for it? Now, in a confidence level, if you were in a conversation and you were trying to sell a product to somebody else, how confident are you in your presentation the way you just played there? Six. I would say seven. Okay, we're pretty close. I want you to be a 10. You don't have to yell at the person, but you have to say, my product is the best product that you're going to get. Okay, now will you play that for me? And so every note, bop. Just every note means something. Try that. Even so, no left versus right. So I want to hear this. Okay, every note, especially the left hand, will go for it. Yes, that's way better. So you and you can even be a little bit more definite on that. And that's what Cerrone is trying to do. He's, because he, he played in San Francisco Orchestra for years. So this is an orchestra excerpt, basically. And then he says, hey, in orchestra, you've got to be able to play soft, too. So you've got to be able to know, to control a little bit with your fulcrum points there. So play that third measure for me. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Okay, now some people are going to make the case that piano doesn't mean go to the edge of the drum. So some people are going to say that all your dynamics are right there. Because the tone of your drum is right there. Now you're going to get different versions of that story. But let's try that piano in the center of the drum. Two, ready, and different sound coming out of that so you'll have to make that decision okay so now I wrote a bunch of stuff in here uh, for sake of time I'll just go over overall I think you're doing a really nice job really nice job um, I want to make sure that we keep those sixes in tempo it's real easy it's really three and four and while we're on that this is really easy one and Two and three and four and four. so I get to get that stick it to get that stick it to get that stick it not too bad. Uh, let me see. Uh, sticking on this, there's all different kinds. What was your sticking on this? Oh, right, left, left, right. Mm -hmm. I would like it to. That's a good sticking, by the way. I'd like it to be more open. You got it. You got it. So you really hear those being three grace notes. And the hard thing is to keep the grace notes down here in the primary up. Forte, fortissimo, compared to forte, I let that ring out. Uh, rhythm we talked about, really work your roll so you get that, that big crescendo there. And then this is the hardest section for me because you gotta open up these grace notes. Up, uh, yeah. So these have got to be open and then that's got to be closed with a crescendo. That's a lot, that's a lot of work. And then man, you did a great job playing that out. And then here again, especially work your left hand. But Dan, have you put mood to the piece as you said? Do you have a storyline to go with the piece? Yeah, 
would be something to do. Uh, I always do this piece with the storyline of being a battle. And so this, bum, so da, 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 bum, that's like the army is marching in. And then, da, 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 da. that could be a whole bunch of different things. So maybe take it and try to establish a storyline for everything going through there. I think that will also help. Great, thank you very much.